again. We're meeting back and uh, it's been a while and I've missed you all. I'm streaming from a location, Crystal and Light, here in Twin Falls and I've been teaching Reiki Master Class. And it's lovely to be with um, like-minded spiritual friends. So today we're going to touch on trust. Trusting this living universe Turning on the volume just to make sure you can hear me okay and um, trusting the living universe trust can come trusting is such a journey isn't it um, sometimes in my own personal life I've learned false trust and um, and hopefully those um, uh, journeys haven't been painful for you but it is all part of the living universe and eventually we get to wise trust and um, that's what we're going to talk about today is wise trust and helping you together discover wise trust and uh, I've been reflecting on the book from Jack Cornfield. I know you can't read it, it's uh, backwards for you. Jack Cornfield, and it's no time like the present. Finding freedom, love, and joy right where we are. And I really like that because, you know, my whole life I've been running and running and running, trying to find joy, trying to find love, trying to find freedom. But guess what? It's right here. And, um, and this peace, this heart, this home that I like to come back to, that each and every one of us has, is something that we carry with us all the time. And so it goes along with us even if we go running after the, um, this elusive love and joy. Because it's here. And it's really about settling and unlayering and peeling off the different layers shedding our skins and our plaster that we piled on in our lives so that we can discover the freedom, the joy, the love right here and the peace. And so it's such a beautiful journey and today it's about trust. And if you look around yourself in nature, we can always trust nature and uh, you know things come and then they go. Um, we plant a seed they turn into seedlings, saplings, and then it grows into a plant. And whether it bears fruit, um, you know, flowers come, and then it turns into fruit, and then we harvest the fruit, and then, um, and then it takes a break. And the season, another season comes, and then it goes through the cycles again and again, and it depends upon the journey of where it's at. Of course, sometimes seed doesn't last either, right? Sometimes a seed just doesn't grow and so that does happen sometimes and it's all a part of nature and a part of life and um, and so we come through this journey and we discover wise trust and to get to wise trust along the way we discover our insecurities and um, I like to share this passage with you because Jack says it so well Insecurity is wired into the, the older levels of our brain. The primitive brain is always on alert for trouble, but that is not necessarily wisdom or trust. Wisdom invites us to live with a trusting heart. With awareness and compassion, we can release our fears. With trust, we can put down the demons of fear and insecurity and allow the unfolding of life. With a trusting heart, we become both loving and detached, combining serenity and care, open to whatever comes. So it's helpful for me to learn and to know that, um, that our brain, we are physically, neurologically, physiologically wired so that we do have that insecurity and so and that's to help us stay alive okay 
So when I know that, then I go, oh, when I get insecure, when my fears arise, um, when the tr distrust comes, then I go, okay, that's part of my insecurity because it might not be safe. I don't know, right? And so when, I, when I'm aware of that fact, then it's easier to really drop into my own heart and ask my wise heart, is the situation safe? Can I trust what's going on or not? And so recognizing the fear, the insecurity, then we can drop into our own heart, coming home once again. There's a beautiful quote, quote by Rumi, pretend the universe is rigged in your favor, pretend the universe is rigged in your favor. And that kind of takes me from the fear, that awareness of the insecurity and fears, and then dropping into that heart and pretend that the universe is rigged in my favor that can sometimes help me to see the other side of the situation, possibly. And so, we're gonna do a little exercise for you, and um, I'll be playing the crystal bowl and guide you on a little journey. And now I invite you to get comfortable, put things down,
is just as simple as that. Exercising and trusting in the living universe that is you. Just using your breath to explore that. And, um, and like all things, we can't master it unless we practice. And so I invite you this week to practice trusting your breath. Exploring that trusting with your breath. And even if it's just a minute a day or tuning back to this video and fast forwarding it to the meditation piece. And uh, take me along with you for the week and helping you to explore, exploring trusting with your breath. And as the more you practice, the easier it becomes to discover that trusting, that wise trusting in your own heart and you'll have more and more trust in the loving universe in your life. And I'm so grateful for you and your time and your trust in me to entertain you and to share a little wisdom with you and thank you for tuning in everyone. I love you. And my heart goes with you as you journey in this trusting in the living universe. And may you have, find wise trust yourself in your life. Love you. Daphne's out.